Well, certainly parasite resistance is a concern, and now it has been for the last several years. We know that in other species, uh, it's become a real problem. So we don't want to get there, get to that point in horses. Although there is some data out there that shows certain species of, of internal parasites in horses have developed some resistance to certain classes of antimicrobials. We don't want to go back to the old days where we deworm everyone on the place the same because when we do that, we're really exposing those parasites to more anthelminic product than is necessary to control them. And when we do that, the more we expose these internal parasites to a particular product over time, the greater the chances are that we're going to select those parasites that are resistant to that dewormer. Taking this strategic approach, we're going to have very targeted deworming and we're going to focus on the products or the active ingredients that are still effective in that particular, uh, on that particular farm or in that particular area of your practice or whatever the case may be. We've got some really good recent data. This was reported in the Journal of, of American Veterinary Medical Association. Dr. Nathan Voris um, was the primary investigator in this study. So what Dr. Voris did, he had a large group of, of these recipient mares and those mares that had an egg count of 200 eggs per gram or greater qualified to enter the study. And we had approximately 80 some mares in this study. And so they randomly divided them into two groups and they were all commingled during the entire duration of the study. And it's very straightforward. We just had, did a head-to-head -head comparison with a single dose of Quest versus a five-day dose of Panicure Power Pack. And we did this fecal egg count reduction test that we spoke of earlier. So the, all the mares had fecals on the first day uh, of the study. And then approximately two weeks later, they had a second fecal egg count on them done. And the Quest group, we reduced the fecal egg counts an average of 99, over 99% in all those mares in the Quest treatment group. The Panicure Power Pack group, on the other hand, had approximately 40%, a little over 40% reduction in fecal egg count. And so in this particular group of mares, and they were sourced from 21 different states, so it was a broad representation across the country, there was definitely um, resistance in these small strongyle populations to fenbendazole, the active ingredient in Panicure Power Pack, in this particular study.